Hi, uh, welcome to the second tutorial for the live event controller in QC Sound. I've already got C Sound running and my live event panel here, which I can use to send these events to C Sound. It's just two events separated by one second, and these are the MIDI notes uh, they are playing. On the live event sheet, you can view the data as a spreadsheet, like we have now, or you can view it as text. So you can edit it just like a plain um, C sound uh, score file. So I can just add an event here, let's say at time two for two seconds, and then it will be maybe 65 and 100. So I can switch now to the sheet view, and the event will be here. The good thing is it's parsed and placed in the appropriate cells. Um, one thing you can do in the, the live event sheet, which you can't do in the score, is change the tempo uh, very easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more. And let's just uh, change this quickly. There's a better way to do this, which I'll show you in the third part. Let's just hear what it sounds like, like this. If you change the tempo, what will happen is that these columns, P2 and P3, will be uh, beats. So you will, instead of being seconds, this will be at uh, time 0 0.5 at, in the first half second. So have a listen. So uh, that's how it works the tempo, and you can see the, the tempo over here on this particular sheet. I'm going to add a couple more rows. Let's say I add five more rows. And I'm going to cut this and paste it a bit further down. Uh, something that's quite useful to remember, say the P fields, is you can say, for example, this is type, this is uh, instrument, this is start, this is duration, this is the note, and this is velocity. If you switch the, to the text view, you can see you, can, you still keep the text, but it's still parsed and placed separately. You may want to put that as a comment, say if, you, if you're going to be copy-pasting this from, uh, from and to a score event. You can see they're parsed even though the text view shows a semicolon, that's just to know it should be placed in separate columns in the sheet. Um, one thing that's a bit quirky when you're using this, this spreadsheet is that you, if you pre press, uh, put a number on this cell, when you drop it, the number will flush to the left. That's uh, because of the way C sound parses the, the score events. So 45, even though it will be, even though it's uh, spaced, even if, if you had it spaced like this, that would be the first column for C sound. So the live event uh, panel reflects that, so it so that uh, you know how C sound is interpreting your your data. Um, let's create a new panel. I'm going to call it Drone. Over here, I'm going to play another event with the same instrument. I'm going to start time zero for 15 seconds. I'm going to give it a quite a low note, say 32. So I could play it here, but the live event controller has a play column, so I can play it from here. You can hear it. And now I can play the other theme. Also notice that tempos are uh, independent. So uh, this is the second part in the, the series for the Levian controllers. See you in the next one. Thanks.